Farid's event. If you have any questions during the presentation tonight, please go ahead and type them in the YouTube chat box. We will be compiling your questions and answering them all at the end of the presentation. Our speaker tonight is Asami Iba. She's the cultural exchange facilitator for the Gen J program through the Japan Foundation. Ms. Iba has been facilitating presentations about traditional Japanese tea ceremonies and introducing Japanese culture to schools and other events in the Midwest for a year and a half. I'd like to welcome Asami Iba. Hello everyone. Thank you for watching this and join, joining us. And actually I was living in Chicago and two weeks before, but like uh, for a visa situation, I now I came back to Japan and I stay in the hotel for two weeks. So actually I'm in Japan. So like now we're, I think the middle west in the time is 7 p.m. But like now I'm 9 a.m. in a Friday morning. So uh, actually, um, I'm in Tokyo, and the place is Simbashi, is near like a imperial, like the like castle. Like a, you know, we have an emperor, and I really stay near like a center of Tokyo. So I can show a little bit about. Uh, maybe I can. Uh, oh, maybe you know. Um, it's. Oh, I don't think. Oh, it's kind of little Tokyo and my room is so small so I was in when I was in Chicago I live in um like one bedroom but like my hotel room is so small and I have a you know sleeping little tiny bed so I didn't miss I I feel like I was I have been very spoiled in U.S. you know because I live in the one bedroom by myself and sleep in a queen bed but now I, I sleep in a really tiny bed and, you know, stay, you know, this kind of teeny tiny room. But in Japan, of course, you know, we kind of struggling with situation, but uh, everybody wearing the mask. So, you know, so in compared to US, I saw a lot of people walking on the street. And I, for the first time, I really scared because in, in, a, in the US, I mostly drive. So like, I don't have to see a lot of people all the time, but I, you know, wearing the mask, keep social distancing and, you know, we can stay safe. So now, so, so now I'm gonna talk about the presentation. Um, okay. So I, oh, you can see my screen. So, so when I was in Chicago, I, you know, as an introduction, I visit a lot of schools and it, mostly the cultural events and sometimes this company and our local communities. So I really enjoyed made a presentation about Japanese culture, but now, after this situation, it's very become very difficult to visit the place and you know see the people in a person and talk with them. But you know, luckily we had a Zoom, so mostly um, I made a presentation about origami, like uh, the paper, and we hold the paper and make something. So, so like so it's been a while. I. I made a presentation about Japanese tea ceremony. So whenever I do this kind of presentation, I wear the kimono and I prepare like some tea stuff. But at this time, my hotels, my Wi-Fi is not strong. And also, you know, I'm kind of limit opportunity because I'm in Japan. So, so but today I'm gonna do just a presentation, but like also have a link the YouTube. So um, after this presentation, you can see the, some YouTube video because some YouTube video is really nice. And even you, you don't know about Japanese, you don't understand Japanese language. You, you just see the ceremony and you understand, like uh, you can debut like uh, what I talk. 
So now I start. So this is a picture of Japan. And you can see this mountain. So this is a Mount Fuji, the, um, the highest mountain in Japan. I'm not, I'm not very familiar with feet and inches, but this is 3,000 meter, about 3,000 meter. So the, you can see that the flower in the front. This is cherry blossom, we call it sakura. So this is a national flower and very famous in April, especially in a spring spring season. And also you can see the like a castle. This is actually not castle, this is a temple. So in Japan, the, the, the 50% people is a Buddhist and the other 50%, about the 50% is um, the Shintoism. It's more like a, not religion, it's more like a custom for like a, showing the respect for in like our emperor. So, but this is like a Buddhist temple. So we call, but we, sometimes we call the tower, but this is like, a, you know, some kind of like temple. So this is very um, like a typical, like a picture in Japan. So this is a map and um, so, so you can see, so this is actually, this is the map when I get, you know, from get in a US. So, so US is kind of center, but Japan is here in an Asian, you know, near the Pacific Ocean. This is like small country. So we know that this is, you know, Japan is island. So we had to know, you know, how to border, you know, the country, you know, which with another country. So Japan had a like unique culture so far. So maybe I think when like, um, you know, Chicago had a consul general office and I heard like consul, like um, Japanese government took like a survey about, you know, what do you know about Japan? So the, the, the number one answer was sushi. So this is sushi, sushi. I think everybody know about sushi. I think in the US, more familiar like this kind of lord sushi is more familiar so but for in japan like a, this nigiri just fish and rice this is more typical one nigiri style this is more typical and popular in japan so also now Nowadays, you know, you can, maybe you might have a Hulu or Netflix and you can watch this kind of anime all the time. So this anime also from Japan. And also, you know, a lot of car company is working in all over the world. Also, we can see some factories in the US. So Japanese car company is also very like a main industry in, in the US. So unfortunately, if we had to know this kind of situation, we might have a, this Olympic in Tokyo. So, you know, Tokyo, you know, I came back to Japan. Um, so I didn't, I didn't go back to Japan for one year. So like everything is really changing and developing because for the Olympic, but unfortunately we couldn't have this year, but I hope we could have, you know, next year and somehow, I heard maybe, you know, we can have a, some, any kind of audience, but I hope we can have this Olympic in safer way. So uh, this is kind of my background and I spend a lot of my life in, in a foreign country. So, so actually I spend a lot of um, years in this country. So this country is Mongolia. So when I go back to this map, so this purple one, so this is, 
this is Mongolia. So it's only five hour flight from Japan to Mongolia. So because I speak Mongolian, so I was working for the Japanese government and in this country. And afterward, I came to US and work for two years. So whenever I stay in the foreign countries, I all the time enjoy teaching Japanese stuff to the, the local people. Because I think, you know, now we have internet and like some, a lot of websites, so we can access a lot of information anytime. But like, I think a little different if you heard about the culture and experience from the native people. So I'm all the time enjoying the sharing my experience in Japan. But now I'm working for the Japan Foundation. So this is also a government agency. So we have uh, three missions. So we ex you know, introduce about the Japanese culture and the Japanese language education and the Japanese studies. So, so mostly I do like a um, cultural exchange program, but also some school had a Japanese program. So we're gonna promote the Japanese education in all over the world. Also, we have a communicate the, the some professors about the, you know, to promote Japanese studies. So this is my program. So, so I visit a lot of school, you know, so this is, um, I teach origami in the last July, last year, like July last year, I teach origami to the people. And this is um, Rockford, Illinois. And also I, you know, made a presentation of our Japanese calligraphy. So this is um, in, in May last year um, in St. Louis, Missouri. And also this is um, the Japanese tea ceremony. So actually I wanted to made a presentation like this, but, but you know, so, but so, so when I did this kind of presentation, I made a tea, and I made, you know, brought some Japanese sweets so audience could enjoy like, uh, you know, authentic taste, you know, no sugar, no milk, just like a matcha powder and hot water and, and also like sweets and a Japanese sweet I bought in Mitsuwa in a Japanese supermarket. And actually um, I some also like I visit some anime convention I think I made the biggest presentation was um, Anime Milwaukee in Wisconsin last February. So I got a bunch of audience. I, so I think more than 100 people enjoy the Japanese tea. They, they didn't know about, you know, like a Japanese tea ceremony. And I'm afraid they could accept the, the taste because it's kind of bitter, but everybody enjoyed. So, you know, maybe we c you can get uh, some the green tea powder in a in a, some Asian market. So if you're interested in in uh, the Japanese tea, maybe you can try it later. So now I'm going to talk about the Japanese tea ceremony. So so Japanese tea ceremony is um, conducted in for like a before like a very daily, day, you know, daily basis. But nowadays it's more like special occasion. So when I do like a Japanese, I, I don't think a lot of, uh, you know, like uh, all of Japanese experience Japanese tea ceremony, because, you know, if you're not interested in, it's had no access to do that. But, you know, I was really interested in the Japanese tea ceremony because I could, you know, whenever we had a tea ceremony, we could eat a sweet. So I'm very attracted, you know, that kind of ceremony. So when I was elementary school student, I had a, the first tea ceremony and I keep learning still now. So, but now, you know, before we learn like a tea ceremony at home, like a mom teach daughter, but like now, we have to go to the special schools 
because you know it's kind of traditional culture so we it's you know we have to buy the kimono the kimono is very expensive and i have we have to prepare this kind of equipment you can see like uh, cups and you know the hot you know like stoves so you have to prepare this the special tatami room so it's gonna it's a little pricey so it's now it's very difficult everybody have a, this kind of situation but i most of especially women enjoy you know experience this kind of opportunity so that so you can say the hospitality and meditation it's really important word for the japanese tea ceremonies to understand the japanese tea ceremonies concept so the hospitality maybe it's easier to understand so so she's host she's hostess a host of hostess and she's a guest the right person is host and hostess and left side person is kind of guest so the Japanese tea ceremony mainly like a host and hostess showing their hospitality to the guest, you know, by serving nice green tea and nice, nice sweet. And like a, we also have a, like a longer tea ceremony. At the longer tea ceremony, it's gonna take about like two or three hours. But they also, the hostess or host gonna serve the the traditional Japanese meal as well. So mainly, you know, hospitality is much easier to understand. But meditation is, you know, also like a very important concept from like a Buddhism. So I think nowadays, you know, people know about Zen meditation, or like, you know, you know, especially at this situation, it's we really need to like, calm down and relax and you know enjoy our time so so meditation is also very important for tea ceremony because at this situation we use very teeny tiny small room and actually we had a no sound you know among the guests we we can talk but like not like loud you know we can talk like like chit chat you know we mostly we have to talk the taste of tea or like taste of sweet and also up, like a showing like appreciation to the to the host so uh, whenever we do the tea ceremony the atmosphere is very very quiet so like you know so we can be like calm down and also the host side Host is like a very focused on making the tea. So, you know, they, you know, guest and the host, they do like meditate themselves. So, you know, the people really enjoy the taste of tea and taste of sweet, but also people can enjoy the atmosphere and also like a sharing the, you know, the praise, praise by tea. So like, you know so we can come down and you know and you know meditate myself and you know we can enjoy this you know opportunity so we have a we have some saying in japanese like uh, one tea one opportunity so like uh, i think also we had a uh, something the one encounter and one opportunity so Whenever we had a, this kind of tea ceremony, we never do only like same com you know company. So, you know, we visit a lot of the guests, so a lot of host host site. So we never met, you know, this, you know, if you go to the school, maybe we see your teacher every week, but sometimes we visit another tea place and you're gonna see another people, another, another teachers like make a tea. So the Japanese people really pay attention, one opportunity. So, you know, also this presentation, you know, I think it's also, um, we, you know, maybe we, this, this opportunity is, 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 if we feel like this opportunity happened only once, maybe we can, you know, 
pay attention and care about more. So, so like, so we have really like, a, you know, the care about one T and one opportunity. You know, we can put any any word to the T T phrase. So, like, uh, one meal, one opportunity, something like that. So. Now, so I really, you know, feel this opportunity is very important. Any, any single minute, any, any single, you know, the moment is very important for me. So this person is actually built up the bait, you know, the discipline for tea ceremony. So, so you know, you can see he's a guy, but the, the previous pictures you saw the woman. So nowadays it's more popular, like a woman do the tea ceremony, but like a buck, you know, when it's beginning, the actually the samurai people, like a kind of Japanese warrior began this, the culture, because mostly like a, the other, other time, like a man is a main, like the factor in the Japanese society. So woman is more just like helping the men. So, so this, his name is Senorikyu. Senorikyu, you know, made just a lot of disappearing. So before him, like um, the ceremony is more like simple, but like after this, after this person, he made up a lot of disappearing. So um, the ceremony become very, like a processing is kind of more complicated. So, this is Asian map and you can see Japan is here, like a red circle. But actually, so I focus on this map because um, the tea ceremony is actually not the original, the culture from Japan, because you can see the China. China is much bigger country and a more like a longer history. So actually the tea came from China. So, so China, China also had a, some like a Jap, you know, the tea ceremony culture like Japan. So actually more like, you know, Japan got a lot of the idea, you know, calligraphy, you know, you know, also like uh, letters, you know, we use the kanji, like a complicated letter that also came from China. So we got a lot of idea from the culture from China. But we also made up, you know, like our own uniqueness by using the Chinese cultures. So this is a kind of Chinese tea ceremony. They also serve um, tea and sweet. But like, you know, China, when we do the tea ceremony, we use only like green tea, like green tea powder, we call it matcha. But in a Chinese tea ceremony, they, they have a bunch of tea, like a tea um, flavors, like jasmine tea, pour, oolong tea. So they use, they also have green tea. So in a tea ceremony, they try, you know, let the guests try a lot of like kind of tea. So it's kind of a little different in a Japanese style. So actually, um, I think a lot of people think you know, green tea and black tea is the taste difference, the color is different, but actually the green tea and black tea is the, from the same leaf. The green tea is more like a fresh, fresh leaf. So, but like black tea, they got the like a fermentation. So, you know, so the color is kind of different. So, and also like green tea had a more caffeine and also green tea, if we drink a green tea, like um, uh, we, we, we can make our body cool. So, you know, whenever it's, it's really hot, the Japanese people drink like hot green tea. So, but you know, green, black tea, you know, it makes our body more warm. So we feel like black tea is, you know, we, we enjoy, like a, a hot black tea in a winter. So this is the green tea. So, so this is we actually we drink this kind of green tea at the tea ceremony. So this is green tea powder, matcha. 
I really enjoyed using matcha anything, not only this drinking matcha, but also, you know, baking when when I bake the cookies and bread. And sometimes I put in some, um, you know, uh, portage, you know, but anyway, so we can use anything, you know, we can use matcha for anything. And also, you can see some like equipment. So this is mixer, you know, to mixing the matcha. So, and also this is like a scoop for the matcha powder. This also, these are made by bamboo. So it's very strong and, you know, you can use it for a long time period. So this is like my really like a favorite part for tea ceremony. So this is um, wagashi. So this is Japanese sweet. So each Japanese sweet had a theme, you know, theme. So this is spring because you can see that the middle of this pink bowl, you can see the shape of sakura. Sakura is our spring flower. So, so this is this thing is spring, like a spring flowers. You know, you can see also sakura here. So, and this is spring. So in Japan, in the summer is very very hot. So we need be cool. So we prefer to get like a jerry for the summer is sweet. And you can see the watermelon and lemon. I think it's more like a fireworks. So this is summer sweet. So now we had autumn. So changing color leaves and some fruit. So this is the autumn sweet. So this is winter, you know, because spring, summer, autumn, winter. So you can see the Christmas tree and also, you know, some deal. The overview, yeah, anyway. So like you can see it anyway. So like oh, kind of winter, winter, winter ish, sweet. So but actually this kind of um, sweet is very very expensive. So it's cost um, I think more about ten ten dollars one one of each. I think in Japan it's much cheaper, but whenever I get tried to this kind of sweet um, in US, maybe I paid a lot, like ten dollars. So, so when we do like a tea ceremony, we gonna in we gonna do not like like a usual space. We do we go to the tea room. So in a tea room. You know, of course, like a host and hostess gonna, you know, treat, you know, you know, serve a lot of, you know, things to do for the guest. But, you know, we feel, you know, the guest, even guests and host and among the guests, we feel, we think we are equal, you know, you know. So when the Senorikyu began this, the ceremony, we had a lot of like a, a lot of different of a status for the people, like a warrior, like a bushi. The samurai people is have a like highest position in the society. Also, even among the samurai people, they have a lot of like differences. But in this tiny tiny tea room, we are equal, you know. So we don't need anything when been enter this uh, teeny tiny tea room. So we have, of course, we have to take off our shoes and also we have to take off our wear pawns, like uh, sold. So, you know, actually when, you know, when we had a tea ceremony like now, um, we cannot bring like a cell phones and we cannot take a picture during the tea ceremony. Maybe, you know, if I visit as a tourist in Japan, maybe we had an opportunity, you know, just, you know, try, you know, try on like a tea ceremony experience. 
and you know like some people translate in english about processing and maybe at that time you can take a picture and enjoy the tea ceremony but like more like that more like a serious everybody wearing the kimono and do the tea ceremony you cannot take bring anything only you can take like um you, yourself and anyway you have to focus you know being there and enjoy you know focusing enjoy the time because you know before i said one tea one opportunity so we cannot get the same opportunity again so you have to 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 focus on this ceremony just you don't bring anything only yourself so so you know tea, tea rooms like the entrance is very small so you know the people cannot bring anything like a like a big bags so and take off their shoes and get into this room so this room actually you know so this room is like a tea, tea rooms um so you can see the host the right side and hostess and on like a guest in the rest side so actually you can see only one guest this room but like the real occasion we had a bunch of the guests so like more sometimes more than 10 people at this room so it might be a little uncomfortable because you know especially this situation we try to you know um having the, some distance between people but you know in a we are you know we expecting this is like a safer opportunity like a before pandemic like um you know we have to cross and it's really uncomfortable um uncomfortable but so but you know we can more like you know i think connect is not like proper proper word but it's more you can the host can reach out reach their hospitality to the guests more directly so it's this kind of uncomfortableness is really need for the japanese tea ceremony so and also you know i think anything we can explain by one t one opportunity you know if you feel like uncomfortable but only once you know maybe you know later maybe you we feel like oh that's also kind of good experience you know we kind of get close and we can you know more talk you know you don't have to talk louder because the the atmosphere is kind of really quiet so we can get closer and you know talk quietly but we can understand each other because you know we close so this is a kind of unique situation for like a japanese tea ceremony so this is um japanese house japan house in Albana champagne illinois in inside the university of illinois urban champagne so i joined this the tea ceremony a couple of times so it's you know so if you see it like a very typical way it's my our legs is really hurt and painful the next day so even me it's very difficult but now like this is so you know japanese tea ceremony also become very international so and also you know actually the discipline is never changed so if you sit in like a chair on a floor you know we can do actually we can do the same things you know by the proper way so i think you know it's really nice you know now we can have a tea, tea ceremony like the standing you know sitting on the chair style because um it's very difficult to find the tatami room in the u.s so whenever i made a presentation here um i do this kind of standing or sitting on the chair style but you know actually the process and 
is procedure is the same so we can enjoy the the same same tea ceremony so we we use this kind of equipment so this is hot this is pot so we made a hot hot water here and so this small small thing small one had a japanese you know green tea matcha powder so we pick up this matcha powder from here and put these cups and put the water and mix it and and also we had a, a lot of discipline but like you know and make, make a green tea and just pass out you know pass along the people and people enjoy the tea and a, and a sweet we we never put anything like a milk and sugar inside so before we drink green tea we have to eat sweet before like like a sweet so we make our mass sweeter and drink green tea it's kind of you know mixture and good combination so we don't feel the green tea is really bitter because you already have like a sweetness so it's more like a make sense so also um this is this cup has a each cup had a design so so but mostly design have only one side so the host and hostess is gonna showing the design of the cup all the time to the guest side, showing respect to the guest. So the guest also, when the guest got the, the cups, they, you know, um, you know, so moving along, move to the design to the, um, the host side and drinking the tea and back. So, you know, showing design is respect, you know, design is also showing the respectness to each other. Yeah, actually a lot of discipline. So it's very difficult to explain everything like now, but so, you know, hospitality, you know, be showing hospitality and also respectness and also showing like, um, um, also, it's kind of hospitality, but we we care in each other. So, tea ceremony is not only like just enjoy the tea and sweetness, but also showing appreciation each other. You know, it's really good opportunity to do this. So, so actually, I really want to watch the YouTube with everybody, but. Um, my Wi-Fi is not strong enough, so it might be difficult. So this is um, YouTube URL. So maybe you can just Google it, like um, the Japanese tea ceremony, and you can watch, you know, you know, English subtitle or just you know, no, no voice like explanation, but you can just enjoy the look, you know, watching. The how the ceremony goes, and maybe you can review kind of you know what I what I talked at this presentation. So now I, you know, I gonna finish my short presentation, and I hope you you know it's help you know understand a little bit about Jap Japan and like a Japanese tea ceremony as part of the Japanese culture. So thank you. Hi, Asami. Hi. We did have a couple questions come in, if you wouldn't mind answering a few. Yes. Want me to, okay, so I'll, I'll read them to you. Mm -hmm. um, so the first question, um, the person was asking, is there a certain time of the day or of the year that tea ceremonies take place, or does the host just decide to invite people to one as a special occasion? 
Uh, it's really depend the house. So, you know, as I talked, you know, we had a, you know, seasonal, seasonal, you know, the sweet. So we can have a tea ceremony anytime they want. So mostly like a schools and like a teachers decide the occasion to have a, a tea ceremony. But, you know, so, but like for, a, you know, when, when you, you know, had a chance to visit Japan as a tourist, you know, so some places, place have a, that's kind of special tea ceremony, like every day. So you can, you can enjoy that kind of tea ceremony anytime you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we have a question about if there are different types of matcha tea and does it all taste the same or does it change depending on who makes it? Oh, actually like a tea powder is the same, but like we have, we also, you know, have a different type of like a green tea leaves. So, you know, maybe, you know, the, the taste are a little different depend on the tea leaves, but mostly the same, but also we had to grade the tea, tea leaves, you know, like our first grade of, of course, like it tastes much better, but, um, I think like a first grade is, I feel like it's more very strong, like a grassy taste. So maybe some people like like a second or third grade more because the taste kind of not strong. You know, I like like a strong and bitter taste in matcha. So I did want to try like a first grade, but when I tried some presentation, some people, you know, the first grade is like a too much for me and you know, and I used like a second one as well. Um, I know that there are some, some matcha that you can buy in the United States. Do you have a recommendation for someone if they wanted to try one that was most like the matcha they might have in Japan? Um, I think the matcha in Kyoto, Kyoto is very famous mm -hmm. and I think you can get the matcha in any like Asian market, you know, okay. you, near your neighborhood. You know, I was living in Schaumburg, Illinois. Mm -hmm. So it's really close to Mitsuwa supermarket. So I can get anytime I want. But I think even, you know, like a local, you know, your, your local community had a no like a Japanese supermarket and most mostly the Asian supermarket and also Trader Joe's have a matcha. But it's not like a like a matcha latte. So, but you know, even that you can taste. You know, maybe first, you know, if you try the matcha, maybe you kind of it's really bitter and a strong taste. So maybe you you should, you know, try like a matcha latte first, and and you like it, maybe you can try like a miza miza la you know, milk and sugar. So. Okay, so someone else uh, made a comment. They said it looks like a beautiful, serene practice. And they're wondering if there's any additional protocol leading up to the tea ceremony, um, such as hand washing or anything like that. Um, and they understand that shoes need to come off, but they're wondering if there's anything else. Yeah, actually, you know, we had a lot of discipline and protocols and, you know, maybe you, we, you know, you can see tatami, tatami room had a lot of kind of lines. So, you know, we cannot cross the line by left legs or like a, we can cross the line only like a right legs. But also we had a lot of schools for tea ceremony like ura senke and omote senke. So it really depend on the school, the rule is really different. So I was like ura senke, so ura senke and yeah, I experienced both of Urasenke and Omotesenke, so they are totally different. So it really, really depend on the school, you know, the so discipline and protocol is totally different. So so we cannot say that, you know, whenever you do the, the tea ceremony, you, you cannot cross the line by left legs, but because the another school, you, you should do that for the right legs, so. You know, even like you get small things, you know, we had a lot of discipline. So it's very difficult to become like a tea master, like a host and teacher. 
at least it's gonna take like five years, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Um, someone else is wondering, do typical homes have tea rooms with separate entrances? Oh, so mm, answer is no, because, you know, it's kind of difficult to have a stove inside the tatami room. But even we had a no, like a stove, we can, you know, I think any, mostly every house had a tatami room. So you can have a tea, tea ceremony more like a relax and not like a strict way mm -hmm. so sometimes I had a like a, not like tea ceremony but like sometimes I do like a practice a tea ceremony out of my home let's see someone else asked what are the sweets made out of I think the sweets that you showed and the pictures okay so the made of by red bean like a, actually like a red bean, beans, you know, it's more like this is here, you know, in the US, but like for, for us, red beans, we put in the sugar and, you know, like a more, we ate like a more dessert. So maybe taste, you know, I like this taste, but like some people it's kind of, you know, a little feel like a weird. Okay, and the last couple of questions we had um, had to do with uh, kimonos. Mm -hmm. So someone was asking about the various parts of the kimono and, and um, is there a purpose to the center part? I think they mean like the belt. Yeah, belt. And mm -hmm. then someone else um, asked if a kimono has to be worn during a tea ceremony or can it be done in casual clothes? Yeah, so kimono, kimono is actually one cloth, one cloth. So, mm -hmm. you know, even they're small, they're, they're big, you know, we can adjust the kimono by belt. So it's really easy. Oh. So also, you know, so yeah, so kimono is, you know, for like everyone. So not like a small people and big people and, um, you know, middle people, you know, middle size of people. So, you know, if we had a belt, you know, we can adjust any, any, any size. And at a tea ceremony, maybe it's much better when you can wear the kimono because, because it's kind of more official. But, you know, the tea ceremony is for everyone, not for like, not for like a Japanese, not for like international people, not for like a student. So they actually, they don't mind. They, they just show up, you know, that, that use your clothes because in Japan, it's very popular. You know, people go to the tea, tea school after work. So they wear in like suits and they don't wear the kimono, but they can enjoy the, the tea ceremony as well. The most important things is how, you know, they have, you know, what kind of attitudes they have for the tea ceremony. They can focus on tea ceremony and, you know, appreciate everything, you know, they experience. So it's more important for our Japanese tea ceremony. Okay, I, that was all the questions that came in. And um, we will go ahead and post the links that you shared um, on the Waukesha Reads Facebook page so if people want to go to those links. But the video will be available on the Waukesha Reads YouTube channel if you want to go and, and look at it again and write anything down. So thank you so much, Asami, for joining us and being part of our Waukesha Reads celebration. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm really proud of joining this opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good night.